Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a quick way of addressing where you've got very lights and darks in the image and you want to kind of like pull them back and kind of flatten it out a bit. So like here you've got some fair amount of darks around here and the sky is, is fairly light as it often is. So very very simply go to the adjustments and put in an invert. Drag that to the top so you want this up here and you'll see why in a minute. And then I'm going to put in a blur. So I go to live filters and Gaussian blur. And again it's put in the wrong place there so I just drag it to the top. So now I can turn the radius up here and what it's doing is it's blurring the image here and I preserve alpha on it so that it keeps the edge clean. And this is because it's the negatives of the image things underneath, then when you, you blend them in, it's going to sort of like flatten it in towards the middle. And a blur will stop it being quite so sort of hard. Uh, and you can go from, from a low blur to actually a fairly high one. You can even type in, you know, bigger blurs. So what this is going to just affect an, an area. But you have to play with it to find out what you like. Let's leave it at 100 there. Then I'm going to group these two. So that's the selected here, then shift click on here, control G for the group. And then with the group blend mode, pass through here, go down to overlay. And you can see here immediately, look at the difference between without the group and with the groups. Look at the sky, look at the foreground here. So without the group original picture, putting that group in there. You can also start doing things like you can put in masks and things like this so that you can mask the whole group to take things in and out that you don't like. And you might even want to do some selection with that. So if I click on the background here, click on the selection brush, and then say I want this, this sort of building middle zone here. I want that not to be affected by this. So I can just really paint around here. Got quite hard edges so it can, it'll pick things up here. And I'll just go quickly across. So this kind of middle ground here, there you go. So now when I click on the group and I click on the mask, it will create a mask there, but the mask is the wrong way around. So if I alt click that, you can see it. Hit control D, don't need the march chance anymore. Control I to invert it and the black means this will block the effect. So when I go back out to the full thing, now if you've got the, take the, the mask layer, turn that on, and off see that's the original you might want to keep that in there and see the uh, the whole thing before and after so you've got a flattening out the skies come back the darkness around here has gone away and i've fixed the bits where i didn't want the whole thing to happen and there it is very simple hope that's helpful and thank you very much for watching